Hello everybody, today I'm going to be playing some Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. This is the original Xbox disc, I'm playing it on a Series X. This is one of the games that if you place it in a Series X, it'll give you a new copy that is an upgraded copy with better graphics. And you will see really good graphics in this game. This is a fantastic game. I recently beat it. Uh, a couple days ago, but it took me two or three weeks to do it. It was a very hard game for me, but uh, I consider it one of my crowning achievements because I have trouble with these types of games, stealth games. I have trouble being stealthy. Today, I'm going to be starting from the beginning, and I'm just going to keep playing until I, I exhaust myself. Okay, so what I've done is jumped to the very first mission. I have skipped a tutorial because it's kind of boring to watch and it just shows you how to use all your moves. Uh, you're going to see me use a lot of those moves right here. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your offset. Okay, so I am uh, in Georgia right now, the country, and I'm trying to find two operatives that went missing around here and the whole storyline kind of takes revolves around a dictator who took power in Georgia and uh, you work for the United States here and you have to go behind enemy lines and do a bunch of covert stuff basically that's the gist of the game this game knows what it wants to be and it does it well I've never enjoyed a stealth game like this before, and but it's making me want to play more stealth games and other Splinter Cell games because this is the first in a series of games. So I'm just uh, going across buildings here. I'm trying to, like I said, Don't locate some op operatives. Is inside there. Why would I tell Let's you see. what you already know? You're going to have to hurry. Grim's daughter's comparing a Dark Star drone sonar to the warehouse blueprints. She'll be guiding you through. Sam, Grim's daughter here. I say jump. Don't ask how high, just do it. And uh, it gives you three different save spots for each profile that you have. It's important, if you're playing through this game, to rotate between those three save spots. There's times where I actually saved and as soon as I start again, I die instantly because it saved right before a death or something like that. So it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, but just make sure you're, if you're playing this game, rotate your saves. Take a left just ahead and cut through the roof. You'll find a stairwell on the opposite corner. Take it to the top floor. Gonna go that way. Oh, I'm supposed to go through this door. Sorry, I got lost there a little bit. There we go. The contact is in this room. Let's hope to God he's still alive. Gerda needs it. Yeah. I'm in the city. We're gonna get you out of here. Don't bother. I'm as good as dead. You're looking for book yeah. Madison was deep in the Nicolata's cabinet. She was on... How do I find him? Lost in... Lambert. I said don't bother. Okay, I'm speeding through the dialogue there a little bit. Leave the corpse for the fire. Be less to explain to his family. You've got a safe exit on the west side of the room. Take My name is Sam Fisher in the game. There's too much smoke. Shoot out the skylight. He is voiced by Michael Ironside. And excellent voice work in this game. It's amazing. The presentation, um, there's so many things about this game that I love. 
And once again, I'm rotating my Remember saves. Still breathing? Doing my best. Good. Blaustein's black box is your next objective. He's running standard agency tradecraft. You'll find the box behind a fake bookshelf or wall panel. A little bit of a tricky jump right here. Oh, maybe not. When you're crouched down like this, you make less noise, so you're less likely to be detected. You also have to keep in mind the darkness level when you're hiding. There's a meter in the bottom right, and that reveals how much light is hitting your sensor on your suit. I could either kill this guy or I can sneak past him. There's so many different ways to go through these missions. Uh, I'm going to try to capture him behind. Like that. So I can uh, knock him out if I wanted to, like this. Uh, sometimes they leave behind stuff, but that time I didn't. There's another guy in the house. Um, I can also shoot out the lights because I'm really supposed to hide the bodies in the darkness and uh, this may not be dark enough. So let's whoop, the put them down, put them down. So I'm just going to kill this guy flat out. He can't see me right now. I was trying to get a headshot there, but it wasn't close enough. So I'm just going to leave those bodies there. Normally you want to put them in the darkest spot, but I just know this level is not that picky about it. You can access these computers along the course of the game and they give you um, some backstory. They're not all needed in order to advance. Some of them are though. There's nobody else in this house, so there's no need to sneak. Here's a first aid kit, or medical kit. Uh, you can also turn off and on the lights, and that figures in a lot to later levels. Here's a hidden computer. I believe one of the operatives that was here hid this computer in the wall. What's the news? Blaustein's heart stopped beating 43 hours ago. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about? This? Nope. Nice of them to share. The subdermal went offline six hours after he died. The last active position was in a police station a few blocks away. Check your offset. Okay, so we just found out one of those operatives is dead. Uh, because... We got some more information. And also, it gave me uh, that computer had a code to this keypad here. So there's these keypads, and you got to get the codes from uh, throughout the game. I'm trying to remember which way I need to go here. Oh, there's a line right here. I got to slide down. You mainly want to avoid fights in this game, if you can, like firefights with the gun. You want to do as much sneaking around as you can because you don't really have the resources uh, to do that. I'm not sure what I need to do here. There we go. That's what I need to do. Right now all I have is a pistol, but later on you get more stuff. I'm rescinding my street level restriction. We've been monitoring the Tbilisi police radio. These cops are as crooked as a Virginia fence. They're not going to want any more international attention than we do. Every road is open to you. Do what you got to do to find those missing spooks. I was just looking for ammo there. Let me uh, 
refill my gun. And well, I was using my night vision camera there to uh, search the dark parts of this room. This door is gonna be locked. So I'm gonna use a lock pick to pick it. And this is hard to explain how to do it. I just basically have to use the vibration of this controller to pick it, basically. There we go. Switch back to my gun. Now, if I want, I can peek through the door and see what's on the other side before going through it. But for the most part, I have found in this game, you can kind of go straight through the doors or at least open them up and peek. Uh, without major things happening. All right. Now this is the first, what I would consider challenging part. I died a lot in this part. One of the things you can do, like I said, you can uh, take out the lights. Maybe. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna bother with that. You said we associated with criminals. Ah, uh, then arrest me. I'm so there's different ways you can go through this part. The gone up I'm gonna try to jail. sneak past these people. You want people. to die tonight? That's free. You want to sleep tonight? It'll cost you 100 lari. Oh, please. I don't. I don't. Oh. Oh. Uh, now what are we going to do with him? Check his pockets. I'll radio HQ. Sure. Unit 3 to dispatch. I'm not we sure what. Ah, oh, crap. I messed that up. I should have not have fell down, so now I might have to fight my way through here. I might end up dying. Maybe. There's a couple other guys out there who may come my way. Okay, that was not the way I intended on doing things, but it is an option. You can just be very aggressive, or you can be stealthy throughout this game. There's people that go record playthroughs of being all stealthy. And there's other people that play what they call Rambo mode, Ram Rambo mode, where they uh, try to kill everyone, basically. The bad part about these shootouts is that uh, I only have 13 bullets left now. There's a guy right up there for some reason did not notice all that. There's a guy in that window up ahead that I gotta watch for. I don't want him to see me. So I'm gonna cling to the wall right here like this. Like I said, I don't want any shootouts until I can get some more bullets. There he is, peeking. I'm trying not to make any noise. Okay, so... There's going to be another guy at that window up there. I'm trying to get a good angle, but I can't. <laughs> oh, that was close. See him walking around up there. This is another part where I got stuck. I couldn't figure out which way to go. I tried climbing everything. As it turns out, there is an opening over here behind these bushes. Uh, let's 
let's see, let's do the second spot there. Let me know if you guys have played this game. And if so, did you enjoy it? What did you play it on? It was very popular on every system. PS2, PC, Xbox. I think it got a remaster. And I am playing a remastered version right here as well. I got some ammo here. Let's refill. Go. Here's a look at my supplies. I got some, uh, I can refill my health gauge by using these of medical kits if I wanted to, but no need to do that yet. Oh, there's another one right there. And let's activate this. Oh, I think I already did that. So now this gate up ahead has opened and there's going to be a dude walking around. There he is, way over there, so we're going to sneak past him, avoid as much combat as we can. I think there's another guy in the alley down here somewhere. I got spotted by someone, probably in the window or something. Him? Let's just hide right here. I think we'll be safe. They're starting to get uh, curious, so they're walking around further than their normal extent looking for me. There's the other guy. It might have been this guy that spotted me. I'm not sure. So you can't see me. I'm in pure darkness pretty much here. I'm waiting for him to relax himself and go back to his normal pattern. With the music playing right here, it indicates he's alerted. There's different set, I'm sorry I'm talking so much. There's different um, levels of alertness. If, if they spot something suspicious, like they saw something, they don't know what it is, that's the mode we just saw right here. He's going back to where he was patrolling before. Now, if they actually see you and, and know that you're an enemy and start shooting at you, that's a higher level of alert. And they, you know, they pull out their, their guns and they go, they try to kill you, basically. That was close. If I wanted to, I could grab this guy in the darkness and just knock him out, but... I can also pick up a bottle like this, or it might be a can, and toss it. And uh, sometimes they hear that and they get differ their patterns, but he didn't. I don't even know where he went. Oh, there's a dude up there I didn't even notice. Good thing I shut out that light. Shot out. <laughs> Alright, now's my chance. There we go. So I think I need to go here on the right. Uh oh. They saw me. Oh, I shot him in the nuts. <laughs> Shoot him. I need to use a med kit here before I die. Alright, so those are the only two people who got alerted and they're both dead, so now the alarm has been shut 
off. Let's hide his body over here. If you leave a body in the light, it may be discovered by someone later on. So, especially in the, the later levels, and you don't want that to happen. I'm going to show you something, oops. Those, I keep on collecting these data sticks, and it's basically email conversations between people. Sometimes they reveal vital information, other times it's just whatever. Here's one with a keypad combination of 5929, which I might need up ahead. And um, in the goals section, it might condense some of that stuff. Here's the goals of the, the level. But we are moving forward. Very bright area. I hear someone walking somewhere. Maybe up there or something. So I'm going to take out some of these lights. Makes it harder for them to see me. And I need to get into, I believe this is the police station. Uh, I think I need to do... There's a weird little double jump that it's kind of hard to do sometimes. There we go. When you're walking on wood like this, you really have to be careful not to stomp too hard. Let's see if there's anything laying back here. There's a bottle and a can which I can use for dis distraction. Let's see, what was it? 5929? Yep. Alrighty. Let's open the door. Ooh, the prison. So I, I like to do is shoot out the lights. Sometimes it's hard to hit them. I heard it's a problem on console compared to a PC. There's a prisoner right there, but he never yells. Who in the hell are you supposed to be? <laughs> he never, they don't tattletale on you for some reason. I don't know if you can kill these guys. This guy looks like he's already dead. Um, but my goal here, I think, is to get to the morgue. But oh, there's a guy up ahead. I don't want to come across that light when he's looking in my direction. He does have his gun out, so I did something to make him suspicious. I am going to kill him. There, headshot. Uh, that's in the darkness, so I don't need to hide his body. sure if I need to go in this room, but I'm going to turn off the lights. Get some data from this computer. There's a can. I only have six bullets, so that's a problem. I'm going to have to go stealth. Door locked. Let's pick it.
When I beat this uh, a couple of days ago, it was the first time I'd ever attempted to beat this game. I'd never even played it before uh, two or three weeks ago. I think there might be a guy behind here. Let's check. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to go in there. Now, if I make a, a lot of noise, he might come out and investigate. Oh, there's a guy right there. I was trying to grab him from behind, but he switched on me, switched directions. So I need to hide his body. I don't think I have a good place to do it without wasting bullets on the lights. So I'm just going to bring him with me for now. <laughs> Let's put him right here. There's a camera in here that I'm going to shoot out. That was close. It almost spotted me. Um, yeah, let's hide the body in the morgue. That makes sense. Look how detailed this game is. It's just amazing. So let's see. Is there... Anything I can, I can pick up in here before I start the next sequence. I've got agents Blaustein and Madison. Rest in peace. Somebody cut out their subdermals. Where do we go from here? We follow the subdermals if we can. Hmm. There's a security camera here. Good thinking. We'll track the subdermals from the video archives. The station surveillance room is on the top floor. Okay, so I gotta move on. These are the two agents I came here to uh, track down and maybe try to rescue or whatever, but they were found by whoever and killed. That guy is probably still in there watching TV. I think I need to go over here. Now, so far, I, I think I'm making everything look easy. It was not like this during my first playthrough. I had immense difficulty learning the nuances of this game. And there's a lot of time. You notice every once in a while it gives you a checkpoint. So you got to go a certain distance between each checkpoint. Um, sometimes that distance is very long and difficult. And if you don't make it straight through, you have to play through the same. If you don't make it to the next checkpoint, it makes you repeat. And there's been times where I had to repeat the same section. It says a body was found. Alar I didn't hide one of the bodies good enough, I guess. What was that noise? This operation is based around stealth. Watch the alarms. Ah, my first uh, mess up there. So they are on to me. They found the body, and that increased their alertness. And then they spotted me, and I didn't really do a good job hiding because I was talking. So I'm going to wait till things settle down. Surrender and show yourself! Come out with your hands up! Where are you? Come out with your hands up! Where are you? Surrender and show this yourself! This is an optional computer. The ones with red displays are the ones that are crucial to advancing. 
Come out with your hands up. I'm just gonna sneak behind Surrender and show yourself. Where are you? You can hear a guy downstairs talking, Come still out searching with your hands for me. Up. Where are you? Now, this part is scary, but look at that shadow. But, and show I'm gonna take him down. Come out with your hands up! There we go. Satchel. He gave me a... I got a data stick off of him. And I'm just going to toss him further into the darkness here. I was saying you can end up doing the same sequence over and over again, including any dialogue. Most of the dialogue you can't skip. That's our guy. We got him red-handed. Can you run his face through echelon? Already on it. Surrender and show your Walkthroughs are not very helpful for this game because it seems like the diff different versions of the game, including the PC version. Come out with your hands up. We'll get back to you once we've sifted this intel. It seems like there's differences with the way the guards behave in each version. So if you're watching a walkthrough, the thing that works for one person will not work for you. You just have to figure this out on your own sometimes, how to get past certain parts. And there's, you know, rooms with like eight people in them and you gotta go across to the other side of the room. It's, they're walking in a certain pattern and it's really hard to do. Oh, man. I have one bullet. Yep, I only have one. So I need to leave. And I think I need to go out this front door here. And there's my ride. I completed the first mission. Messed up a few times there, but I'm not a perfect player. And there's probably better ways to do what I've been doing. That's the beauty of this game. There's different ways to go through with these missions. I mentioned stealth versus being aggressive, but it's more than that. There's different routes and, you know, different things you can sneak behind. And uh, each playthrough could be a little bit different. So All right. Let's do the first one here. Echelon got a positive ID on your target from the morgue security cameras. A guy named Vyacheslav Vinko. How do I find him? By his license plate. And if he's not with his car? Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Me? Grimm's daughter just pulled up the schematics on the Ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. So one slip up and it's mission over. Okay, so I think they said I need to like, like kidnap a, a driver or something. I got 40 rounds, 40 bullets once again. Let's see if I can take this guy out. I don't think the other people heard that happen, so there's a camera here I'm, I'm going to sneak by. You know, it's funny that first time I played through, I came through this door and it was much harder, but I came through a window this time that I didn't realize I could do that before. So like I said, there's different ways through all this stuff. I don't think I need all of that. I'm not going to go for that. I'm just going to go through here. All right, this part's kind of tricky. Let's let the door auto shut. Let's kill the camera. Let's kill the light. Maybe. Maybe this is one of the lights you can't destroy. Let's try one more time. 
Yeah, if it has that bar art on it, I don't think you can destroy it. Could be wrong. Ah, the light switch. Duh. There we go. So let me use this thing. Can't really see much there. Switch back to the gun, open the door. I'm in the darkness now, so they can't see me. Even if they walk past me. Let's see how far this guy walks. So you just have to know the patterns of all these guards and stuff in order to succeed. You have to sit there and analyze their patterns. So I'm just going to wait till that door closes before I go down those stairs. Actually, up here, I think there's a med kit. Turn on my night vision. Let's see. Oh, there it is on the wall. You need med kits if you get in a lot of shootouts, but <laughs> if you are sneaky, you won't get into any shootouts. I hear a camera. Let's go ahead and just shoot the camera. Come on. See, that's the hit detection in this game is horrible. <laughs> I should not have wasted all those bullets on that. There's another camera. Let's see if I can do better this time around. I could just go underneath the camera. Let's try that. Yep, that works. So the plot's getting really complex, but I believe in this mission, I need to kidnap a driver and interrogate him, basically. Not kidnap him, but uh, put him in a chokehold and interrogate him. Alrighty, there's a lot of different ways through this level. That driver is in this parking garage and I'm gonna you're gonna see them in a minute here. There's a can. Stay in the darkness and the cameras won't see you. There's the driver's car. He's the chauffeur of one of the uh, bad guys and he's gonna be over here taking a piss. There's another camera and I'm gonna sneak up from behind and grab him. Telling or I'll still detect me. Interrogate. What the hell? I'm going to ask you some questions. When I think you're lying, I'll do this. I. Who do you work for? It's love. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nikolas. Where do I find Rinko? He is meeting Mass in the elevator by the courtyard. Who's Mass? Philippe. Mas, some computer guy. He has access to Nikoladze's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear, it's gotta be something bad if Nikoladze is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand that we never talked. I understand. Good. Okay, so I need to find a dark spot to put this guy in. Let's go ahead and knock him out right here. My meter I'm indicates a dark here. spot. It's a dark spot. In that I'll need to deactivate the courtyard laser grid to get in position. Then do it. Okay. I think there's going to be... Yeah, there's a new guy over here that wasn't there before. So what I can do is just toss this can... Or this bottle. And that'll make him walk around in a different pattern. What the hell? 
and that will allow me to walk past him because he's going to start investigating. I think I need to go back in here. Or do I need to get on like an elevator? Let me see. I haven't played this level in a while, so I don't know exactly what I need to do. But I think I need to go through that same door. So we'll do that. Yep, he saw something, but I'm going to be long gone by the time he comes looking for me. I keep checking these pipes because you can crawl up them certain spots so that's not an exit let me just see deactivate the courtyard security laser grid all right I need to go out into the courtyard This guy is snoozing on the job. Let's take him into the darkness. Knock him out. I don't want to... Let's get him out of this hallway. Put him in here. They might still see his body if it's in the middle of a hallway or something. Let's drop them right here, and then let's shoot out this light. Probably more work than I need to do, but... That's the way I play games. <laughs> more work than I need to do. Alright, so that other guy that was here, I don't know what happened to him. There were two people. Is there a guy in here? There's a camera somewhere. Might be above the door. Yep. I could have also just turned off the light and the camera would not be able to see me. Didn't need to get those, but oh well. What are those? VHS tapes or something? Door locked, so you know what that means. I have this thing that also lets me instantly open a door, but I'll just use this. Because the thing that lets me do it instantly is only can only be used once. Switch back to gun. Open the door. <laughs> like a random cut there, but... That guy I is in that... Window right there. I passed Colonel Kibashvili on my patrol. Want me to send him down? God no! I hate this guy. We'll find somebody else with the land. So what I'm gonna do is climb on this pipe, and you get to see Sam Fisher's strength, even though he's supposed to be an old veteran. He still has a lot of strength. That's one alarm too many. The mission's oh. over. I did something wrong.
set off too many alarms. This part's Perhaps pretty cool. Too many. Okay, over. so I'm running into the problem I had before. I think they are finding a dead body somewhere and it's causing me not to be able to advance here. So I'm gonna fall back to one of my previous positions, my previous saves. Here's the moment of truth. Can I clear this part without it ending my game? Yeah, it looks like I did it. So I'm going to go into this room where there's people cooking and listen to this funny dialogue. I thought the kitchen was closed. It's a special order for Colonel Kabayashvili. Ah, excellent. <laughs> May I? Please. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Hilarious. <clears throat> now, let's see. I think I can pick up a bottle or something in here. Eh, maybe not. Oh, here's a bottle. And these guys you can sneak past and they don't know I'm here for whatever reason or they don't care. <laughs> They're just the cooks. He's patrolling. Oh. He turned on the light. What I'm going to do is turn off that light, and I think he's going to freak out. And I'm going to... He's going to turn it back on again, and I can knock him out. I don't know if this is going to work. There's different ways to go through this. But let's have some fun here. Oh, he has his gun out. That's not good. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Uh, not what I wanted to do, but it is what it is. I think he heard me or something, and it put him in a increased state of alert. I got shot a little bit, so let's use my med kit. Ten bullets. It doesn't leave us much options, many options. This is a really complex uh, part of the game. Come on out where I can see you. Now he got alerted to me, but I'm just gonna leap down. Ah, that did not work. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Because there's too many of them. My first death in this playthrough. Not too bad. I made it pretty far. There's uh, four guards in this area and there is a way to get past all of them uh, without firing a shot. So. Maybe it's better if I didn't see So this time I'm going to dive down over here and hopefully that guy doesn't get alerted because sometimes when I'm jumping down, this guy here is hearing it. So let me see if he can, if he ever changes position here. Nah, let's just dive down like this. 
There we go. Now we're in business, I think. Coming Colonel Fisher, make the most of him. You'll need him conscious and hey. cooperative if you want to unlock the retinal scanner sealing the door to the courtyard. That's detailed intelligence. Knowing everything is my job. Okay, so the Colonel is coming down the stairs once again, and I'm gonna try to grab him from his chair. This time I'll try to do it from this side so I don't accidentally activate the computer when I'm next to him. Alrighty. Let's see if this works. I can't kill him because uh, I need to get through that door with the retina scanner. There, it has to be just right. But I don't want to knock him out. I need his eyeball. <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> now we're gonna... It says use retina scanner. I'm gonna hit A. Then I'm gonna bring over, bring him over here since he unlocked the door, and knock him out. I think we're okay with the light there. All right, we made it through that part. I got the checkpoint. That's the key. I need to eavesdrop on that conversation there using one of my tools or else it's uh, game over right here. So the tool I need is called a boom or laser mic. Boom the glass mic. elevator's in motion. Make with the laser mic, Fisher. It's mission critical that we hear what Grinko and Mass say before they reach the top. Navigate. Why don't you rip it out with pliers? We have some difficulty with blocking ship. You can see fibers of muscle tissue still attached. Nasty. Nasty. You're in the wrong line of work to avoid getting gore on your hands. Whatever Nicolads does in Azerbaijan is his own conscience's burden. You are just a tool? You're a tool. I'm the technology. I'm the cleanup man. All the blood's on yours and Nicolads' hands. I'm clean. And it is? It's what? Clean. Azerbaijan? Yeah, man. The operation's goddamn immaculate. Except for the files, Nicolads insists on keeping on his own machine. You need to talk to that. Sounds like we found the subdermals. I get nervous when the bad guys start making blood jokes. Oh, yeah. That conversation's going straight to the Joint Chiefs, and we're going to need more. Nicolads' computer. You guessed it. Get inside his office and access that machine. Alarms aren't mission critical anymore. We're moving into Fifth Freedom territory. Okay. 
So there's three guys that are going to be patrolling the yard here. And I remember being stuck in this part for quite a bit. Uh, but I've learned quite a th few things since then, so maybe I'll be able to get past this. Got to be careful moving through the light. I need to uh, climb up to, into the balcony there. Oh, it's getting really close, ain't it? Let's see if this works. Yeah. Please don't start shooting at me when I'm up here. Um... All right, not too bad. Already another checkpoint. There's gonna be some guys coming up the elevator, so I need to hide because there's too many lights to take out. I'm gonna run in this room. And let's use our uh, peekaboo thing here. I think they're both going to end up hanging out on the right side here. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door. And try to sneak into the elevator. There we go. Not too bad. There was, I could probably shoot out that light, but it might take a lot of bullets and I only have like 10 still. So I'm going to take my chances. Ah, this part is really tough. Really, really tough. There's going to be a hidden camera on my right and a guy walking on my left. Let me check something here. I need to see if I need a code. Okay, well. Ah, crap, I got detected by the camera. Let's see if I can survive. I don't think I can. This operation is based around stealth. Watch the alarms. I got through the door. Get the camera. I used all my bullets for that. Ah, uh, he's... <laughs> Surprised I uh, am surviving so far. Like, there's more bullets. Ah, oh, I saw a med kit. All right. So that was not ideal, but I still got through it through brute force. He's gonna be close. Him. Okay. Stay back. Ah. Oh, what the hell? Ah. Ah. Load, 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 load. Darn it. <laughs> How did he get up there? He must have climbed up through the hatch or something. I've never seen that before, but that's okay. Um, let's see. What, I think it was this one. So what I need to do is actually go into this room. I just remembered. So use one of my gadgets to open the door. Go in there, go in there. Let's turn off the light. Ugh. 
there's actually an opening in the ceiling here. And I think this is the part where a lot of players will get confused because it's kind of hard to notice this opening. And I can't even get to it. There we go. This is a, a better route to take. So now I'm on the other side of this door. And I'll proceed to that same room. Ah, the camera. I forgot about the camera. Well, once again, grab the ammo from the wall. Grab that. This operation is based around stealth. Watch the alarms. And let's wait to see if the guy comes up this time. If so, I'll be ready for him. Yep. He didn't stand a chance. Um, let's see, is there a dark part up here somewhere? Oh, another alarm. I don't think it's going to get any darker than this. Alright, dreadfully I'm going to save that checkpoint even though I'm saving it while the alarm's going off. But we'll proceed here. The trick to this is making it dark before you bust through the window. So. That was a cool move. <laughs> Alright, let's hide the body before I do anything else. <laughs> I love that move. Um, let's see, is there a light switch in here? Let's save some bullets. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna hide the bo body behind the desk over here. Must have been nothing. There's gonna be some guys storming in the room after I peek at this computer here. Christ Almighty! What do you have? Bad things. Keep transmitting. We need to see how far this goes. What's going on? Corpses, refugee camps. They've had commandos at work in Azerbaijan for weeks. How the hell did we miss this? Keep transmitting. See, I do have a frag grenade. I'm going to see if I can kill these guys with the frag grenade. You can also sneak by these guys, but it's really complex. You have to, like, hang off the edge over there. I've got three men about to brief Nikolaj's office. Search for hostile. Here they come. It's gonna be like three of them, I think. One more, one more. Is that it? I thought there was gonna be another. Ah, he got killed by the grenade. Oh, no, 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 don't pick up the body, don't pick up the body. Wow, there's a guy shooting at me. <laughs> I hate that. Alright. Let's stick this body in with the rest of the bodies in here. Let's see, any anything left behind? I don't think so. 14 bullets, I think I can do it. So I believe I need to head this way. Ah, 
that camera still detected me. But I should be okay. Jammed it means I need to do something else. I need to do something else before I can come through here. Come on. Nobody's coming because I killed most of the people uh, working here. <laughs> Let's see, there's usually a guy in here. Yeah, he's just looking at the pop machine. Take it to the darkness. See, there's a, is there a light switch? I don't think there is. I'll take you over here. Knock you out. Alrighty. Just so you know, I'm only like 10% through the game right now, I believe. Now let's see if I can... Let's just take out this camera. Oh, come on. I think it has armor on it, so you can't destroy this one. It's fatter, basically. But I can destroy this light. Now, hopefully, I can get through here by now. Now, because whenever it says door jammed, it means that I can't continue. Only 10 bullets left. Door jammed. Okay, so there's something I haven't done yet. Maybe I didn't activate that computer in that one room, so. Well, let's again, let's go out. Oh, I needed to do this one twice. That's what it was, I think. That's the end of it. Thank yep. God. What exactly is going on? You wouldn't believe. Yeah, what exactly is going on? Let's do the third spot. Alrighty. Nikolaj has been systematically murdering his way through Azerbaijan. And we didn't know about it. Nobody did. What does he want? You can watch the news later. Rendezvous with Junior Wilkes for extraction. There we go. Door is no longer jammed. Nikolaj's office is clear. We're heading for the rear gangway. Ah, that was a mistake. I didn't realize another guy was going to come. What else do I have? N nothing. Oh, that guy just died on his own. Alright. Uh, I know what I need to do. When I come down the stairs, I need to run off to the right there instead of hang out. And this time, just stand straight up and run like this so you can run faster. The rear gangway. There we go. I want an update. Why haven't the intruder been caught yet? Do we have men on the rear stairwell? About to breach the stairwell, sir. I can get out again. Somebody shooting? I thought I heard some shooting. <laughs> ah, that's my operative friend. What the hell did you find in there, man? Lambert's flipping out big time. What's he saying? That we're going to war. Alright, so there is a little war that's going to happen in this game. Between, uh, It's going to happen in, as I can't hardly say the name of the country, Azerbaijan. Maybe I said that right, I'm not sure. Uh, so now the storyline's going to move there. 
it's hard for you as a watcher to know everything that's going on. It's a very complex story, as you can see. There's a little news briefs, a little ticker on the bottom, but I am going to skip this part. Sorry if you like that kind of stuff. Um, Georgian Waters, Caspian Sea. Okay, so that's where I think I'm going next. Yep, the oil, oil rig level. Fisher, we've uploaded your mission objectives. Grimstarter says the rig's encryption protocols are bulletproof, so we're gonna have to let one of Nikolaz's geeks log on before we get a chance at any intelligence. Why would they be holding onto this rig? It's not Nikolaz's smartest play. That's what got our attention. Nikolaz is sacrificing several cells to hold on to it, so whatever's coming over the network must be critical. Mission objectives on your opsat. Look at all these moves I have. <laughs> so right here is just going to be some climbing and stuff I have to do until I get to some other stuff. Visual on hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat, blowing the bridge. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here. Going the right way, or did I need to go that way? I'm pretty sure I need to go this way. Okay, so there's no way to go through there. Do I need to hop down? Do I need to slide down this? Oh, yeah. And then I need to go like this. nice scenery. Look at that. And then hop back up here. And then duck and go underneath here. Another checkpoint. They're being very nice with the checkpoints. There's certain parts of this game where you just walk a little way and all of a sudden it gives you another, another checkpoint. Um... Let's see. What's over here? Is there a supply? Whoa! Well, there's a war happening right now, and you're kind of in one of the hot spots around here, so. Bad news, Fisher. Something got the military's attention. Oh boy. Your rig just got bumped into the single digits on NATO's strike list. Write yourself a technician and get that data. Time just got scarce. Oh, let's kill myself. Alright, so what do I need to do here? Climb up this bar? Yep. Or did I already come down this bar? I don't know. There we go. Now I'm on top of the pipe. And I'm in the pipe. Yummy, yummy. This is either oil or water. I thought I saw a pipe that said water, but Everybody look oil. lively. Our computer technician is returning with the encryption key. I need two men to meet him at the docking station and escort him to the data hub. Let's get this finished quickly. We're a sitting dock out here. Okay, so there's going to be a guy carrying a briefcase with a code or something, and I need to kidnap that guy and, and take it from him. And that is easier said than done. There's a lot of uh, chasing around in this stage for the rest of this stage. So, is there anything in here? Nothing. Do I need to go back through here? Pretty sure I need to come. Yeah, open trap. There we go. There's the guy, and he's gonna be walking around like crazy in this stage. And you just kind of like gotta track him. If you get too far off his trail, 
uh, the can the mission gets canceled. No, 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 no. Don't don't go back down there. guards uh, trailing him as well. Let's see, I think there's a place I can climb over over here. Oh, I thought there was a pipe or something. There's some kind of pipe I can climb on. Maybe it was on the second level. Let's go back down. I have a feeling I'm gonna, gonna fail this part uh, the first time around here. Right. Let's look for a pipe. Pretty sure I'm supposed to crawl across the pipe over to this stairway here. Let's climb back up here. There might be other ways to get there though. They have been alerted to my presence, of course. Let's see, is that the pipe? There we go. Tuck my legs. Relay alert from Philip Matt. We have incoming American warplane. That took me a while to get up to this, so let's see what happens here. I think this place is about to be bombed. Alright, let's hey, land down here. Just looking for goodies here. I can't really hide that body. There's not really any darkness because it's outside. Caught up a little bit. Let's see what kind of weapons I have here. Eventually you get to use a second gun. But right now I'm still with the pistol. Let's just take this guy out. This time I will move his body a little bit. He gave, he gave me a med kit, so he must have been a doctor or something. I'm just going to scoot him over here. This is actually a short stage overall. You can hear the fighting in the distance. All right, moving through the game. I haven't exhausted myself yet. I'm having fun. This is going to cause a diversion, which is going to cause, let's see, those guys to come over here and check it out or something. Maybe I'll just do this. I thought they were going to check it out. Now they're suspicious of me, so I might have to take them out the hard way.
I tried to sneak by him. Didn't work. Die! Alright. Lost a lot of life there, but I got some medkits. Ah, there's more people coming. I'm not what a situation. Do you think you're doing dangerous. The mission's over. Ah, he called into the mission on me because I messed up a little bit there. All right, easy as that. So I'm gonna climb up here. Let's get a med kit. There we go. Turn around, sir. Tuck your legs in. Supposed to go through here. The mission's over. Okay, I, I don't think I was supposed to do that quite yet. I guess. I think I'm supposed to creep around here. Let's see if there's any goodies back here. Yep, there's a med kit. Change of plans, Fisher. You're going after that technician, Piotr. We want the briefcase that's chained to his wrist. He downloaded the data to that? To a laptop inside it. Use whatever force necessary. All right, now I can come up through here. They've shot out the glass. Because they're destroying stuff in there, I don't know. They're destroying secrets. Now I can go through here. Go down. Let's just take this guy out like this. Aha. Uh -huh. um, he didn't leave any goodies for us. Wait, what was that? Ah, oh, some ammo. Good, good, good. Load my gun. There they go. Oh! The allies are bombing this area because there's a war going on. There's gonna... This is a tricky spot right here. Catch him. I think he's down here. Um, I think I know what I'm doing. I don't know. I thought he came through here. Oh, that's right. There's two different doors that kind of go to the same spot here. And I'm just going to choose one of them. I think he ran down through here. Oh yeah, he's trying to get on a boat, but the boat blew up or whatever, so I'm just gonna nab him. Like 
this. <laughs> like this. Interrogate him. What makes this with the risk? Who the hell are you? Don't ask any more questions. Answers only been fast. I understand. Why risk manually extracting data from a battle zone? That's the only way. We encrypted with a non-transferable destroy a new hard key. What's the data? I'm just a messenger. I don't know. Something about an arc. What's that? I don't know. But Nicolas was most. Where were you going to take the briefcase? I don't know. I wasn't going to find out until I was on board the escape ship. Mass is Mass. Okay, so I'm just going to forward through the rest of it. I swear that's all I know. You might as well kill me. Okay, so let's knock them out. Great job, Fisher. Have to make yourself okay. Sick. Uh, it's hard for me to hear that. I, I don't like to wear earpiece while I'm playing, so sometimes when there's dialogue, I can't hear it during these playthroughs. I can't turn the TV up too loud or else you'll get an echo effect. Okay. That kind of summarizes everything. How much longer so, is this going to take? Your daughter's on the line. Just running the encryption. Black hell! What's up, Gerb? The data you glommed off the rig. There's no way the Georgians could have gotten this much intel without a man inside the CIA. Fisher, you're up. Dad? Sarah. Hi. Where are you? On my way. Okay, so failure at the Red Bear Army Community. That was an in-game cutscene using the in-game engine, so it looked a little bit different than the others. Um there's a mole in the CIA, and I need to find him by infiltrating my own CIA headquarters. This is a very, very difficult uh, and buggy mission. When I say buggy, I mean um, it's one of those where you got to make sure you don't leave bodies in weird areas. Because if you leave some bodies laying around and then save the game, and then continue and they find the bodies you're dead and you've saved yourself out of being able to place those bodies somewhere else so to make a long story short um this is one of the harder missions in the game it took me forever to get through it but i managed to get through it so we're gonna sneak our way in there's a lot of guys uh patrolling in this level by the way, I now have my uh, heat, heat sensing goggles, which works sometimes, but I like to use the uh, night vision goggles. I'm going to climb this fence. Let's see, there's a gap in the barbed wire right here, coincidentally. Notice there's a timer. I need to get in by, there's a fan that has stopped and it's going to start again in one minute. I believe I need to get up here. Ah, they, they found me. Let's see if I can. Oh, wait. You know what? I can't kill anyone in this level either. I'm just going to let them kill me and start over again. Come on, guys. Hurry up and kill me. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go through a window. Okay, where's my gun? I don't have a gun yet. Okay, so I think I need to go over here. Maybe not. Let's hang from that window by using a double jump. I'm not good with the double jumping, so bear with me here. There we go. There we go. Slide open. Exactly what I need to do. The guards are whistling. Here's the fan that has stopped. There we go.
I've infiltrated the CIA. <laughs> Gonna be one guy patrolling down below. There he is. I can't believe I don't have a gun. I guess they want me to think my way through this, which is good. <laughs> Anything back here? So I think I need to climb over the fence, but that guy, I don't know how far away he is, but let's risk it. Ah, this is not the right spot. I'm going to wait till he comes around again and walks away. He has a patrol path. see the gap I need to go through right up there. Alright, I'm just going to chill here for a second. I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. I'm not sure how much time has elapsed. Feels like I've been playing for a while. There he is. As long as I'm not moving and I'm in a little bit of darkness, he can't see me. I want him to go down the hallway on the right. So he's just completing out his pattern here. If I alert him, he'll change his pattern. Like if I throw a bottle or whatever, or if he just catches a glimpse of me. Sometimes you do need to change their patterns to get through. Now he's gonna sit there for a second and hopefully he goes through that hallway on the right. Patience is the key. Luckily we've got this atmospheric uh, soundtrack. Is he just going to sit there? I don't have anything that can help me. <laughs> may be too late. I may not be able to get through here. There's the gap I need. I might just try to conk him on the head, which is something you can do. Let's see, can I move to the side a little bit? Jesus, don't hurt me! No, come, come, come. No, come, come. No. <laughs> okay, so he's just a worker. He's not armed. So, But let's put his unconscious body over here. Yep. And my meter indicates that this is total darkness, so no one's going to find him. Not for a while. That part took way longer than it needed to. <laughs> Camera at the end of the hallway. I just have to slip by it and go into that room on the left, I believe. Oh. oh it's like a little cubby hole or whatever you call it. That was close. If I had a weapon I could shoot shoot that out. <laughs> Alright, 
Uh oh. What the heck is going on? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Not how I wanted to do it. But luckily, I still have my fist. That guy's still in the dark, I think. So, all right. I'm not sure how I was supposed to get through here. Maybe there was some kind of pole to climb up or something. I don't know. Let's see. I don't have any first aid kits. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. I guess we'll go into this door. Anyone in here working in the dark? People just leave their laptops on. There's first aid kit. Ah, ring, f okay, here's some fun stuff. Man, there's some delay going on here for some reason. but I need a gun to fire those. So uh, these are things that knock out people without killing them. So very useful. But eventually I'm going to get a gun to use. And stick them on. There's a guy over there. And there's a guy in here. Who's been alerted. I'm running low on health. I think my time has come to an end, folks. Uh, I'm starting to get a little sloppy here. Getting more challenging. Get out of the way! Oh, I do have a first aid kit. There we go. Oh. All right. So uh, I've made my way through a lot of the game here, and I showed you a lot of it. It gets tricky here. I have to replay things and remember what I need to do to sneak by these guards. There might have been other rooms in that one hallway that I needed to go through first. So it's a lot of trial and error, um, but uh, I'm getting kind of tired here, so I'm going to call an end to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this game, watching me play this game. If you've never played it before, I recommend playing it if you have a way to play it. And um, I think I'll be checking out the other Splinter Cell games in the series. I don't think this is a perfect game. Like I said, there's some ways, there's some ways to mess up your save file so you can't uh, turn back. But uh, I managed to beat the game, as I said earlier. So uh, I'm glad. And l wonderful presentation. I like the storyline. I like the characters. I like the techniques. I like the moves. I like the graphics the different um, missions and stuff like that. So anyway, there's a couple more videos on the screen in front of you if you would like to watch similar types of videos like this one. I'll see you next time, folks.